I went to OUM um, mainly because I was uh, an older um, uh, student and uh, I had an established family uh, that I've uh, had to uh, look after and have had responsibility for. And OUM uh, offered me the, the flexibility to, uh, to actually achieve that goal and uh, also add on to that uh, uh, studying medicine and uh, obviously successfully uh, completing the course in the end. Clinical rotations, most of my rotations were in Victoria, uh, most in country Victoria. Um, uh, the thing with country Victoria, it, it provides a lot more hands-on than what you would in uh, the uh, major hospitals in the city. Uh, there was a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, with consultants and senior registrars, so there was a lot of uh, extra learning opportunities available. Um, uh, you know, rotations are not the easiest thing to come by, but uh, certainly um, I'm evidence to the fact that uh, you, know, you try hard enough, you develop your networks, and uh, you can certainly achieve those uh, the goal the goals of. Uh, of good rotations, good educational rotations and support from uh, the staff in the, the local communities. Like any course, um, r regardless whether it's it's in a brick and mortar um, university or uh, with e-education, with uh, distance education, what, what you put in is, is what you get out. And um, like there's you know mediocre engineers, there's excellent engineers. You only become excellent um, because you put in the work, and it's the same with any um, university degree. The more you put in, the more you get out. It's the same with OUM. Today we have the rare honor to present the OUM medal to one extraordinary student who has excelled beyond all others. This is only the second time in our years of existence that someone has earned this medal. And I would like to invite Eddie Watkins to come forward. I've got uh, one or two hospitals that uh, are assisting me at the moment and uh, hopefully putting in um, uh, budget requests to put on an extra intern. So um, hopefully in the uh, uh, next six to 12 months, I'll be in gainful employment uh, as an intern in Victoria. Fingers crossed.